Oh, yep, there's some damage. So, I was contacted by Troxus Mobility to see if I would like to try out one of their new uh, e-bikes that are coming out here pretty soon. This is a uh, kind of a utility kind of bike, uh, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery, 750 watt motor, and just your basic uh, utility e-bike step through design, that sort of thing. Uh, I just received it today and I'm not too happy with uh, how it was packaged. It looks like it was like a reused one. The, this is the way, I already opened it up just to check and see if there's any damages, but uh, the wheel has got like painter's tape on it. And this was just loose inside the package. You can see it came through. There was no little protector, little plastic protectors on these. So it just punched through the outside of the box. FedEx delivered it, so. FedEx. Um, but I haven't unboxed it just yet, just because I wanted to record it and see how everything is, is uh, gonna hold up. Let's see here. This, I assume, is the charger. Other than that, it looks like it's decent shape, but like I said, it looks like it was, maybe because, maybe because it's a new model that uh, they haven't released yet that they're still testing these out. And so maybe this was like a production run or something like that, who knows, um, but. Hopefully I should be able to do this by myself. Looks like it has decent components. We'll see. But yeah, let's do my unboxing. I'll do a review of it later, but this is just the unboxing video. Let's get this in frame here. Um, but like I said, look, painter's tape. The top of this box looks like it got smashed about 50 times while it was in transit. Um, hopefully there's no other issues. Probably pedals and hardware. And fender, metal fender. But yeah, see, look, it looks like it's been returned. Like this has been used, this is dirt. This is water damp or water spots. I don't know, whatever. Um, like I said, they did provide this, this bike to me. Um, I don't have any partnership with them or anything like that other than them sent, providing me a, a bike for me to review. I'll take some photos of it and some videos and send that to them to let them know everything's good. But other than that, this is my honest opinion. Let's get into it. I've only gotten two e-bikes. Let's put this down here. I've only really had two e-bikes. One, Rad Power Bikes, Rad Runner Plus, and this guy. So my, kind of my viewpoint of how this should be boxed is kind of just, it's a really limited view of how my other Rad came. See, there's, more wear that it's been used, but whatever, it's, it's free, right? Ooh, I don't like that. The cable housing, the protection is pulling away from there. Don't like that. Should probably get some tools. Oh, there's the keys still in it and bent, bent key. So that's to show you how how uh, FedEx handled it and how it was packaged up. So not happy with that. Maybe there's still one good key. Maybe I can bend this back. I haven't seen any paint damage yet, so that's good. There's some sticker residue, like something was stuck on there and that's no longer there. Probably get a knife. 
I don't want this thing to fall over though. Oh, yep, there's some damage. Some paint damage right there. Probably due to the front wheel. The front wheel, like I said, was just in the box. It was just sitting in there, rattling around the whole time, punctured through the box. <sighs> it's disappointing. Not a good experience so far. The forks look nice. That looks, I don't know what it that is. Unless there's a, supposed to be a cap on there. Yeah, dang it, stay. Left thumb throttle, looks like a Shimano shifter, their lower quality one. Some grips that are twisted weird. Yeah, we'll see. Should probably get some tools, huh? Is that zip tie supposed to be there? Here's the front, front light water on it other than that the installation or assembly on this looks pretty straightforward looks right now all I have to do is just put the head handlebars on and it looks good to go I like the the cable management looks really good it's within the frame there's more damage. To be honest with you, I've never heard of, I've never heard of Troxus before they contacted me. Um, I believe they're based out of China, like a lot of these startup companies that are uh, selling in the US where their main headquarters and manufacturing facilities are in China, but then they have a a warehouse in these states that that handles the shipments in the United States. No, 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 no bubble wrap on the right crank. Here's the front front wheel. Like I said, it's looked like it's been through some mud, some dirt. It doesn't have a quick release skewer, so it's just a, a regular old axle. Oh, it's like 90 degrees out here in Utah right now, so I am sweating. Luckily, it's still a overcast day, but it's humid. 80, it's only 86, but it's humid as hell. I grew up in Arizona, I'm not good with humidity. Kenda tires, you don't say what kind it is, but standard Kenda knobby tire. Should probably put that on there first. I've never seen a, a box packaged with painter's tape before. Scotch tape, maybe. Um, packing tape, of course. Heck, even duct tape or duct tape. Let's get these started. This uh, stem here got pretty banged up, like I showed you on that box. It got it hit against that uh, top of that box flap here quite a bit. Man, I just mowed the lawn yesterday, and it was not even this hot. I'm not even sweating that much yesterday from mowing the lawn for an hour. I don't know how you guys in the south do this. People think I'm weird. Got my uh, Rad Runner in my office. And it's not a big office, obviously. You've, if you've seen past videos of me, it's pretty tiny. And so uh, a big old e-bike in there does not lend well to 
space and room. But I put it in there because it's friggin' hot outside. Star pattern. I really need a torque wrench. Um, I've been getting getting by without one, but I just think I really need to invest in at least a cheap one. It's gonna I'm gonna need a torque wrench here soon just to know. Because just the way I've done it my whole life is just feeling it. Twist until it's tight. That don't always work. Bell works. I'm gonna take the battery out. Just so it's easier to lift. I'm gonna bend this key. Well, I might have to hammer it. Nice big battery. That's nice. Charging port on the side. This kind of looks like the same kind of batteries that you'll you'll see in integrated frames now, like uh, with Aerial Rider and uh, Hemiway. I did a re review about the Hemiway uh, Big Dog. Kind of had like the same look. If I remember correctly, the Hemiway yeah Hemiway was on the bottom. The cinch was on top, kind of the same kind of style battery. I think, believe they're all 20 amp hour too. Why can you not take out the key while it's not oh, weird? I thought the key was like locked in there. Here's the fun part. Uh, I'm missing a bolt. Didn't realize that before. I'm missing a bolt. I may have to go down to a hardware store. This looks broken. It is. I didn't realize that before. But the head headlight is broken. The, the cable looks like it's being pulled out not happy with that there's the first part so they probably shipped it with that attached and then that broke off during transit lovely how's that a better angle here I'm sorry i didn't realize that it was so uh towards the sky but uh yeah Overall, I'm not too happy with this package job that uh, they have given the, as I mentioned, the box was damaged. The head, the front wheel was just loose in there, just flopping around inside the box with the uh, FedEx and FedEx by themselves does not handle their packages so well, so I wish they would have done more for that. Um, the headlight is bracket, the headlight bracket is broken, which is just a piece of plastic. I like to mod so I can just buy one or make one if I have to. The key was bent. It was stuck in the bike in the key and the key slot, the key uh, cylinder, lock cylinder, and just sitting there. And so bam, the loose front wheel smacked it and bent it. Still one good key, but I can bend this one back. Um, overall, it looked like it, it's been a, like you've ever bought something brand new that looks like it's been a return. This definitely looks like it's been a return. There's water spots and water damage all over it um, from the front wheel or the, the rear wheel all the way to the front wheel. Um, everything has like dried, dirty water on it. So water spots. There's damage to the frame from when the, from the poor packaging that it had on it. Um, yeah, overall I'm not very impressed with uh, with Truxus. I'm gonna figure out which is left and which is right. Left. 
the chain looks like it needs some lube and it's dirty. The front wheel was also missing a, a uh, nut. So luckily I had a spare like extra one that I could just pull out of my uh, garage. But otherwise, if I was, if I didn't have that and I was just some Joe Blow that didn't have the, the proper hardware, I'd have to either contact the company and have them mail you out um, a new nut or go to a hardware store and buy one. And thus, first day of receiving your new bike, you wouldn't be able to use your new bike. The kickstand is loose, which is very odd. Like it either wasn't, wasn't bolted on the properly before, or it became loose from whoever had this be before. But yeah, it's loose. I'll get a video on my phone. It came with a wrench, so it came with the hardware to do that. Spent a good deal of money on a brand new e-bike. These are all things that would bother the heck out of me. I would like to have seen hydraulic brakes. Um, they don't have a listing for this on their site just yet since it's a new model that they're coming out with. But I would have liked to have seen hydraulic, hydraulic brakes. Let's try the front wheel, see if this is good. Not bad. I really like it's it's got a low standover like even from freeing a step through like I could this is much lower standover than even my Rad Rover or Ran Runner. I'll have to get left used to the left left thumb, thumb throttle. I think that I don't know if these are air or what? With that broken, um, so supposedly broken uh, adjuster there, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to look that way or not, but who knows. Other than that, very unimpressed with the packaging and the damage to the bike, but overall, as far as the bike goes, I, I really like it. I like the, the look and the design. Um, I don't see any water bosses, water, water bottle bosses. That would have been nice. The rear rack looks substantial. Fenders are metal, which is nice. I got to put the front fender on. The cabling is decent. Like this all looks good, but this doesn't. Like this is, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Like it, it looks obviously like there's supposed to be a, um, a cable management tie right here, but this is just a loose zip tie that's just sitting there. Well, the wrench they give you will not work on that. So not everything you need to assemble the bike is in the box. I mean, I've heard some horror stories with uh, packaging before, but never haven't experienced anything this bad. But again, I'm not sure if this is um, indicative of the company or if this is just this model like this isn't a production model obviously because I'm I didn't buy it and I'm doing a review of it but if anybody else has bought a Troxus bike before in the past and had these kind of problems that's kind of a huge major red flag uh, here's a broken headlight piece. Now the sun's coming out. That is not going to help things. This looks as though it bolts onto this, but there's no bolt. There's no nut. There's no bolt. 
This one has a bolt. So another piece of hardware that I'll have to supply myself or go out and purchase. Again, not very good, not very good. Oh, didn't even notice how much damage this battery. There's a little facade piece of plastic to this battery. You notice how scratched up it was. This part is pretty much, uh, besides the me having to find my own hardware, pretty much the same as when I did the the Rad Rover. Uh, I'm calling it a Rad Rover, Rad Runner. I've been eyeballing the Rad Rover, the Six Plus. Um, Rad has been putting it on sale for quite a while now. Like every week, it seems like they're coming out with 300, 350, 400 dollars off. So it's tempting. But yeah, but overall, it looks like a good bike. Um, assembly was easy. Some things here and there that kind of raise a red flag for me for this company, mainly due to shipping and just issues that I've seen like this is something that they're they're sending to somebody who's going to be making a video and a review about it um, that can reach potentially thousands of people and this is the quality of stuff that they send me um, I can only imagine what they would send somebody who bought the bike but is you know gonna complain on Facebook to maybe 10 people um, I don't know it raises a lot of red flags with me for this company um, but we'll see. I'm gonna charge the battery, um, plug it in, see if it works. There's things that, uh, since there's so many other things that they're red flags for me from shipping that they might have caused problems with, uh, with damage during, during transit. So we'll figure that out. Um, I'm gonna charge the battery and see what's going on. Thank you. Thank you for watching.